Hi everyone, let's talk about multinomial coefficients and combinatorics. The general scenario looks something like the one that I've drawn here, where we have two elements that are indistinguishable, we have three elements that are also indistinguishable, and we have four elements that are also indistinguishable. But we can distinguish between things that have different colors. And we want to know what's the number of ways of ordering them from left to right, so using indices. But we, we want to instill the condition that if we were to swap two things of the same type or the same color, then it wouldn't produce a different permutation. And the answer to this one is 2 plus 3 plus 4 so the total number of things, factorial, divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. And this should sort of intuitively make sense because over here the number of ways of permuting the the orange ones among themselves is 2 factorial. The number of ways of permuting the teal balls amongst themselves is 3 factorial and the number of ways of permuting the purple balls amongst themselves is 4 factorial. So there's this symmetry and we're dividing out by the symmetry so that we get distinct permutations. So that's the intuitive way of looking at it. And the just so you know, the, the top one is the numerator here is the number of permutations we'd, we'd have if all of the elements, all the 4 plus 3 plus two elements were all distinct. But they're not distinct, so we have to divide by the degree of symmetry. So let's prove this general formula rigorously. Let's say we have n equals to n1 plus n2 all the way through to nk objects or elements and these are all distinct these are all distinct all the way through to sorry these are all the same not distinct and these are all the same and these are all the same but amongst two objects of different types they're distinct that's what I meant to say so we have a whole bunch we have k categories and within each category the objects are indistinguishable, but objects from different categories are distinguishable. And we want to know the number of permutations that are distinct. So what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to let n be the total number of objects and we're, we're just gonna write out the possibilities in a row. So one, two, three, all the way through to n minus one, n. So this is position one or index one. This is index two, this is index three, when we have all the way through to n minus one and n. And let's start with the first category, the n minus one the number of ways in which we could place them is n choose n1. So we can place one here, we can place one here, and we can place one here. It doesn't matter where they are, but the number of, pla the number of ways in which we can assign indices to these n1 uh, objects that are the same is n choose n1 and then we move on to n2 and there are n minus n1 positions left so we assign those n2 of them to these n2 objects and then we do the third one which is where we have n minus n1 minus n2 positions left and we assign them to the n3 objects in the third category and we keep going like this until we have n minus n1 minus n2 
all the way through to n k minus 1 choose n k and that by the multiplication principle in combinatorics is the number but we can vastly simplify this so let's do that in the first one we get n we're just gonna we're gonna get rid of n by by substituting in n1 plus through plus n k so we get n1 all the way through to n k choose n1 times n2 all the way through to n k choose n2 then we have n3 all the way through to n k choose n3 and we keep going like this until we have the final element which is n k choose n k and now we're gonna expand this out in terms of the definition of a combination and you'll see why that's so convenient in just a moment we have n1 plus through nk factorial divided by so we get n1 factorial times n2 all the way through to nk factorial times n2 all the way through to nk factorial divided by n2 factorial times n3 plus all the way through to nk factorial times n3 all the way through to nk factorial divided by n3 factorial times n4 all the way through to nk factorial and we keep going like this until we get nk factorial let me rewrite that it's kind of messy divided by nk factorial zero factorial which is just one and now we get a bunch of telescoping like this term here cancels out over with this term here and this term here cancels out with this term here so you can see that all the denominators um, except for in the very last term will cancel out so this cancels out and the final numerator cancels out and so what we're left with in the very end is n1 all the way through to nk factorial divided by n1 factorial times n2 factorial all the way through to nk factorial and that's our final formula and just so you know this is called a multinomial coefficient and you'll see why in a future video where I talk about the expansion uh, in the multinomial theorem. So this expression here, n1 plus n2 all the way through to nk factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial all the way through to nk factorial which is we, we can write this as n choose n1 comma n2 all the way through to nk and we write it like this and as you can see this is a generalization of a binomial coefficient because the binomial coefficient is for k equals to 2 so we get n choose let's say k comma n minus k and that's just n choose k so the, the multinomial coefficient generalizes the binomial coefficient. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.